Hello, this is Renee, and welcome back. This is going to be a pick a card reading. What's going on the next 48 hours? I've given you three decks to choose from. So take a look at the decks, see which deck is calling out to you. Uh, use your intuition. We have the first deck, Pink Quartz Angel. The second deck, a Tiger's Eye Heart. Or the third deck, a Lapis Lazuli Angel. Take a moment and see which deck is calling out to you. Um, you can choose more than one deck if you choose. Um, if one deck doesn't seem to resonate, feel free to move on to a different deck. But this is going to be your next 48 hours. What's going on in the next 48 hours for you? Forgive my voice, I am catching a cold, so I'm trying to get this under control. So if I have to take a sip of tea during the reading, please forgive me. Okay, let's get into this. What's going on your next 48 hours? I'm going to pull a nine card spread, and I've already predetermined the cards. I've blessed and shoveled the cars. Okay. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles. So for pile number one, I feel like this may be work related. This is something that you're working very hard on. This is something that you really want to finish. You kind of have a goal to achieve this, whatever this is. Um, like I said, I feel like it could be work related uh, because it is a pinnacles. Pinnacles is work, family, um, money. And but I feel like with this, you're working very hard. If this has to do with family, I feel like there may be some things that need to be worked out. Um, but okay, we have the page of wands so some kind of information that you're waiting for within the next 48 hours you're going to hear back from that um, there's something coming through that's bringing you more information if you're waiting on a job opportunity I feel like the work that you've done is going to be recognized and you're hearing word about that promotion that increased income that you were hoping for um, very interesting. I feel like the next 48 hours you're going to take time to rest, rejuvenate. You you feel the need to recover. Maybe this situation had you deep in worry and now you are recovering from the situation because you've heard good news. This is good news coming to you. News you've been waiting on. Some kind of information that is going to lift you up yeah definitely okay this is exactly what I was feeling um, pile number one you're going through this recovery because you have been worried about the situation there's some sleeplessness I feel like you're having trouble sleeping you're having trouble controlling your emotions in a way that you're needing recovery you know, I feel like with this situation, um, this is something that may have been delayed for a while and you were really starting to feel like it wasn't going to come through. Like this information was never going to come. Yes, we have the two of wands. Definitely. This is information you've been waiting for. This is... The Two of Wands is waiting for results, waiting for plans to come through, waiting for something to happen. You know, this is the planning stage. This is, you know, 
you've set something in motion and now this is it finally coming into a resolution you're finally hearing word about this and i feel like it's been totally delayed you've been waiting for a while for this information this could be money that's coming through money that you were feeling like you deserved or money you were feeling like was being delayed for some reason some kind of promotion some kind of advancement but i feel like pile number one you're you're feeling supported you're finally feeling appreciated like you're being seen for the efforts that you made with this three of cups I feel like this is like your circle of support, your reason for celebration. So whatever news this is that has been delayed, that's now coming in, I feel like you feel the need to celebrate. You feel the need to totally let loose and just relax, rejuvenate, you know, feel that support, that love coming in for you. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, okay. Pile number one, this is a turning point. This is huge changes now turning in your favor. Some kind of change is going to bring you more success. More, I'm feeling like more ability. More opportunities. Something that you're working on was bringing more more opportunities hmm okay we have the five of cups with the five of cups right underneath the nine of swords i feel like you're finally able to let these fears go to walk away from these fears to walk away from this disappointment to finally realize that whatever that you've been waiting on is coming through You've hit this turning point and now you're releasing those feelings of anxiety, of the need to control, you know. Um, you're finally able to sleep and rest. Very interesting. Okay, pile number one. We also have the world. Wow. Oh, okay, I'm loving this. So, <clears throat> pile number one. You know, I see that you've gone through this huge feeling of not being recognized, not being appreciated. You may have been waiting on some kind of information from your job where you felt like they're taking so long that, you know, they must not appreciate the work that you're doing or they must not really value you as a worker or if this is something other than career i feel like you know you, you felt unappreciated <clears throat> but now that this is coming through this is like a turning point you're feeling appreciated you're feeling valued you're you're finally able to release your anxiety your fear that doubt and i feel like wow you you're coming complete you finally have the resolution that you were looking for. And this is exactly what you were looking for and more. Because you've reached your goal. There's some kind of situation in your life that is complete. You've learned the lesson and you're able to start a new chapter. So this is beautiful energy. This is beautiful energy. Let's take a look at the at the oracle cards that we've got for you okay we have do the work don't stop doing the work because i feel like pile number one whatever work that you've done is being recognized even if you thought that it was being delayed they're watching you they're looking at you they're noticing the things that you're doing if this you know what i'm kind of feeling like this is you having to do projects around your home too. I feel like this is some kind of remodeling project for a few of you. 
And I feel like you're kind of delaying whether you should do this work or not. Spirit is letting you know, do the work. Put in that, that value. Put value into yourself and the, and the place where you live. Because that's very important to live someplace where you feel value. You know? Okay, let's see what else we've got. We've got step out of your comfort zone. Okay. Yeah, pile number one, I feel like I feel like there's gonna be choices that you need to make that you're kinda oh should I do that? Oh, that's gonna hurt, you know? And I feel like, yeah. Spirit is letting you know, step out of your comfort zone. It's all going to work out in the end. You're going to be very satisfied. You're going to have this beautiful ending in the end. Okay? Okay, we have a message from the universe. Attack, pain, fear, judgment, any form of separation are merely cause of help. So... I feel like if someone has separated from you, someone has kind of distanced themselves, I feel like they're just going through something. They're going through a process. They have the need to work on this, and maybe they have the need to work on it alone. So, um, pile number one, if you have someone in your life who's kind of pulling away, who is kind of distancing themselves... Um, Spirit is letting me know to tell you that this person is going through something. They may need your support, but I feel like they they want to call on your support if they need it. I feel like this is something that they want to work out on their own. So just have patience with this person and, you know, just be there when they need you. Okay. That's what I have. Okay. We have insecurities. So I feel like this may be you or this may be someone around you. But I feel like there's someone who's insecure about a situation. There's someone who is feeling. Look how big this heart is. I feel like this person is used to giving. They're used to giving and something has been taken away from them. So it's putting them into this feeling of I'm not able to give what I normally give. I'm very insecure about this situation. They feel like, you know, something's been totally taken away, you know, and I feel like that's bringing insecurity into their life. So this may be you. Pile number one, this may be someone that you know, someone very close to you. But I feel like someone is in need of support. The Three of Cups. Someone is in need of doing that internal work that is going to bring back balance into, into their life. Okay. Um, I hope this makes sense to you. Okay, pile number one, your last card out. We have abundance. So... I feel like you have done the work, pile number one. Something is coming for you in a very strong way. Something is bringing you a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness as you go through this world card and this abundance. I feel like something beautiful is happening for you. You've gone through the process. You won this battle and now you're going through this completion being recognized for your efforts. Okay? And I'm actually feeling the need to pull one more card. Let's get one more card for pile number one. Okay. We have, get my glasses. Facing fear. Yes, yes. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Exactly. Pile number one, this is your chance to, sh to soar and gain your abundance. I feel like spirit is letting you know that they're, that they're behind you. They're with you. You know, you're being recognized. You're being noticed. There's something in your life that's going through a completion. 
something has gone through its cycle and now it's going to be beginning again you know and i feel like what's coming around is going to bring you more success more abundance more recognition okay okay pile number one that is what i have for you so if this pile resonates please like and subscribe Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. I have the love readings all up. So, um, I also have um, February 1st through the 15th uploaded as well. So, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising to give you more messages. Okay, pile number one. This is your reading. Okay, if you chose pile number two and the tiger's eye stone, the tiger's eye heart, this reading is for you. Okay, let's take a look what's going on with pile number two. And if you have the need to pick more than one pile, of course you can do so. Okay, we're starting out your energy with the hermit. So, pile number two, I feel like you may have been spending a lot of time alone. You may be soul searching, um, but I feel like you're doing that to kind of get answers, to try to figure out solutions to a problem that you're dealing with. So, you may be kind of secluding yourself to try to figure out where to go, how to find those um answers that you need we're going to work on those answers with you okay we have the hangman so i definitely feel like you're soul searching you're trying to be enlightened by some sort of situation and i feel like that illumination is very close i feel like you're very close to hitting your answers you're very close to determining your direction with this hangman look at the I mean she's given him water she's given him sustenance and nourishment and I feel like spirit is letting you know that you know the answers are coming close to you you're getting the answers you're gonna have that total illumination um, you may have to look at it from a different angle from a different perspective but I feel like all roads are leading to success all roads are leading to your abundance you know and i feel like it's coming to you because of this wisdom that you're coming to some kind of uh, some kind of answers are being illuminated you know and i feel like you're finally getting the yes exactly the answers are becoming clear. You suddenly have this spark, this energy, this drive to move forward on some kind of idea, some kind of creation that you are doing. I feel, I really feel like you're manifesting something into your life. And this, this Ten of Pentacles and this Ace of Wands is you at that creation stage. You're manifesting this down. You're setting your intentions. You're setting your focus. That's the reason why we have the Hermit and the Hangman. You, you've taken this alone time to set your attentions and ground your mentality into bringing this manifestation forward. So I feel like whatever it is that you're manifesting, uh, pile number two, I feel like it's coming to you in a powerful way. We have the two of pentacles. So I definitely feel like this is you. You're doing more than one thing. But I feel like you're, you're kind of juggling these opportunities. There may be a lot of things that you're juggling in your home life. Um... You may have family, children, a job, you know, career. And I feel like you're doing all of this juggling, setting your priorities so that something great can happen in your life. 
and I feel like you you've been weighing the options now you're just waiting for it to come through you're waiting for it to be manifested to come to life okay we have the king of wands definitely the king of wands is an entrepreneur he knows how to manifest very wisely and he also knows how to be courageous in his process he brings things to life in a way that you know will spark new opportunities uh, <clears throat> excuse me and he's also very bold and powerful the king of wands is actually very close to the emperor so if you if you think about what the emperor means in tarot the king of wands is very close to the emperor energy because he's very focused he knows where to focus his energy where it's going to build the most momentum you know and i feel like that's what you're doing you're you're focusing your energy on things that you know that are going to bring the right spark to bring the right abundance to bring the right clarity you know does that make sense to you okay we have the nine of cups oh my gosh i'm loving this reading pile number two what is going on okay we have the nine of cups right underneath the ten of pentacles this is total contentment for you you have hit a breakthrough you have come into your success pile number two you have hit the jackpot you know this is this is your dreams coming true this is something that you found maybe unattainable in the past you're now able to focus that attention on your wishes on what makes you happy and you're able to gain your abundance this is beautiful beautiful energy pile number two i'm really loving this for you wow okay we have the eight of cups so i do feel like this is you walking look at this we're walk we're we're going from the nine of cups to the eight of cups wow we and I, I really feel like with this eight of cups energy you're finally able to release those feelings of not being enough because you're feeling total contentment but look how she's looking at that one cup that one cup that is still full that one cup that she still doesn't want to leave behind so i feel like I feel like even though you have this nine of cups, even though you have this total fulfillment, wish, attainment, you know, I feel like there's something that you just don't want to leave behind. There's something that you just want to hold on to, you know. Um, what is it in your life that, you know, even if you have success, even if you have abundance, you don't want to release? You know, take notice of that. I feel like that is the most important thing in your life. Something that you do not want to release. Even if you have all the wealth in the world. You know, I feel like that's very important for you. And I feel like, power number two, you have so much success. So much happiness is being built up for you. So this is you coming into the realization of what's really important. What really in your life makes you happy. You know, that there are certain things in our lives that we won't release even if we have all the money in the world, you know, and I feel like you're understanding that you're seeing that you're seeing the big picture and I feel like it's bringing you a lot of gratitude. Uh, I feel like you're very thankful for all the blessings that are coming towards you at this time. I feel like you are coming into that realization that, you know, all that is beautiful is in gold 
you know, but I feel like even though you know that, I feel like you are happy, you are abundant, you are blessed beyond compare. Okay, that is what I have for you. Pile number two. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look at your at your oracle cards. Yes, we have manifestation. So there's definitely something that's being manifested in your life. There's definitely something that you are bringing forward. Down from heaven into reality. Um, beautiful. <clears throat> and we have, what do you need to release? So, in order for this manifestation to come through, and we've talked about this with this Eight of Cups, what do you need to release? And what do you find most important to you that you will not release no matter what? You know, maybe it's memories. Maybe it is what you've been through in the past that has got you through to this moment. You know, sometimes the pain of the past, it fuels us to move into pure success. You know, a, a lot of times, you know, I tell my husband this all the time, that, you know, if I haven't, if I hadn't gone through the things that I had gone through in my childhood or in my past, I would not be the person that I am today. So those things, although they're very painful, they're very hurtful, I, I can't release them totally because it makes me me, you know? And maybe that's something that, that you're coming into realization. Maybe that's something that you have become enlightened about with this hangman and um, hermit energy. Okay, we also have obstacles are detours in the right direction. So I feel like, yeah, you have overcome some kind of obstacle that has pushed you into the right direction. It kind of steered you um, into that detour, but it brought you so much success. It's funny how that happens sometimes, that a detour can lead us in the right direction. You know, very beautiful energy. Okay, we also have let it go. Now, I do feel the need that there is something that does need to be let go of. Something that may be kind of hard for you to deal with, but I feel like it's something that needs to be put to rest. Okay, we have creation. So, I feel like you're not done creating. I feel like you're just at this beginning stage. You're, you're still manifesting more into your life pile number two you're still manifesting more um and i feel like it's going to bring great success okay and if you if there is any question that you have pile number two the answer is yes your angels are letting you know that you are quite capable of whatever you're trying to succeed okay and we're going to take one more card and see what that brings us okay we have Supreme protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond your limitations and trust. And I feel like that, that could be where this letting go is coming from. You're moving past what is making you feel held back or limited. You're, you're moving towards something that's very beautiful. Something that's very sustainable for you for the future this is beautiful energy pound number two uh, this is what i have for you if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity i have the um the love readings all done for all of the signs um and i also have February 1st through the 15th done for all of the signs. So take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more messages that will give you much more clarity on your situation. Okay, pound number two. This reading is for you. And if this reading doesn't resonate, feel free to take a look at another pile if you need to. Okay, we're moving on. 
Okay, if you chose the beautiful blue lapis lazuli stone, this reading is for you. Okay, let's take a look. Pile number three. And of course, if this reading doesn't resonate, you can always choose another pile if you choose to. You can choose more than one pile if you like. So, watch them all. Okay, pile number three. We have the six of wands. Success. Being recognized. <clears throat> Being noticed. We have the judgment card. Wow, we have the chariot beautiful we have the death card okay oh my goodness we have the lovers oh my gosh the ace of wands the three of wands okay the strength card and the magician wow could it get any stronger than that I feel like this is finishing with a bang <laughs> This is definitely finishing with a bang. Okay, pile number three. I feel like you're being totally recognized. This is your overall um, energy. I feel like you're being recognized. You're seeing your success. People are noticing you. Um, if you're an influencer, I feel like a lot of people watch you. A lot of people want to see what's what's going on with you. Um, they're kind of watching your every move. I do feel like there is this one person behind here who's like watching you very envious. There's someone who's envying you. They're envying your success as they watch you rise, as they watch you being celebrated. They're kind of wishing... It wasn't you wishing it was someone else being successful. So I do feel like that is something that you do need to be aware of. Um, we have the judgment card. So I feel like with this judgment card, this is you finally finding that clarity. Making that final decision on the directions that you need to go on. Finding that success. I feel like you're leaving that comfort zone and finding this whole new reality because you left your comfort zone. You know, I feel like this is you moving towards your path. This could be you literally moving, but I feel like you you may have followed your direction um, by intuition. You know, and now you're gaining this publicity, this recognition of some sort. This could be in your job. This could be in your life. This could be, you know, anywhere where it resonates. But I feel like you're moving forward along your path. Now, I do feel like there is something that had to end in order for this new beginning to start. But look at this. There, there is this, the sun shining through those two pillars. So I do feel like there's a blessing coming forward for you. After some kind of ending, this blessing will arrive. And I feel like with the strength card right underneath that death card, I feel like you're strong enough to endure whatever this ending is. You're strong enough to go through whatever this is because the sun is right behind it. You have victory. You have some kind of sustenance that is pushing you forward, that's bringing you alive, you know. Um, we also have the lovers, so I feel like there's a very good possibility that this has to deal with love, that something is coming around for you that is going to bring bring so much joy, so much ability. Um, if this is you open to love, I feel like love is coming through and you can expect that within the next 48 hours. Someone is going to give you some kind of offer. Um... But I do feel like there's some kind of clarity that you're receiving. Some kind of offering. Something is being offered to you that has been delayed. 
Um, and I feel like now you can finally see your ships coming in. Now you can finally see the glory of your success. You know? And I feel like you've had to be strong. You've had to be strong in this process. Because I feel like it was a waiting game. I feel like you had to have a lot of patience. You had to have a lot of self-control. But you have everything you need to bring this to life. You have everything that you need to bring this into your reality. To manifest this very strongly into your life. You know? This is a very beautiful reading. There's, let's see, there's six major arcana out of nine. Wow. Wow. This is a very strong message. This is Spirit letting you know that um, something very important is around the bend. You know, in the next 48 hours, there's going to be something very important, something very vital, something very crucial that is going to happen that are, is going to push you towards these events. You know, so really take notice. Really maintain your focus you know that's what i want to say maintain your focus okay we have sacred plan i feel like this is something that may have been in the planning for a while this is something that maybe you've dreamed about maybe you've really made plans for the future to do something that you've set your intentions on is finally being sparked it's finally coming through. It's finally moving forward. Um, and it, I, I feel like it's something that you've been waiting for. Okay, we have look at the big picture. It may be a Sagittarius that's coming in to help you through this project. Or you may be a Sagittarius yourself. You may have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart. But Spirit is letting you know to look at the big picture. Look at that sacred plan. You know, look at that plan that you made. And make sure that all your T's are crossed. All your I's are dotted. You know, make sure you're looking at all the important aspects of it. Okay, we have take time to breathe out. Dis dissimating moon. So I feel like that's very important. I feel like you do need to take time to focus with this judgment card. That there is some time that you need to take. Some time to figure out exactly what this means. Or make a final decision in this process. You know, the judgment card is finding clarity. Making a final decision. Having a wake-up call. Really reviewing your life's purpose. Rebirth. You know, um, moving out of your comfort zone. So, yeah, that all has to deal with the judgment card. And uh, what that means. So, I feel like you really need to take time to just focus. Just relax. Just take a moment to listen. You know, somewhere in a in a quiet place just take time to listen without any noise I think that's going to be very helpful for you okay we have a message from the universe my energy creates my reality what I focus on is what I will manifest definitely that's the reason why I want you to take time to focus to, you know, listen to that inner voice. Because sometimes we bring things into reality that we may not have intended to do. And so I really believe that focusing on your intuition, focusing on that inner voice, is going to bring you so much more clarity in your situation. Okay, we have shining through. So I definitely feel like you're shining through at this moment. The number 30 may be very significant to you. You may be 30 years old. Um, you may have been dealing with an issue for 30 years. Um, but I feel like you're, you're definitely shining. You're definitely being recognized. Okay, we have perception. 
So you may want to look at this plan, look at this idea from different angles, from different perceptions. Maybe get an, a, a second opinion. And um, also don't give up. See it through. Finish whatever you started. Do not give up. You know, I feel like you're so close to achieving exactly what you want to achieve. And at the bottom, we have this situation will improve. Wow. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Because I feel like this situation is totally ending up out of this world. Something is going to totally improve. Okay, let's take a look. We have, we have forgiveness. Okay, maybe that has to deal with this death card and this lovers. Maybe something had to end so that um, this could be manifested. It doesn't have to be, but that is something that may resonate with you. Okay, we have forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. So yeah, I feel like you have protection. You definitely have guidance. You're being protected. And we also have higher learning. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. Definitely. Don't give up. Don't give up. You are so close to whatever this is that you're manifesting. Um, let's see. I want more. I want more clarity. Spirit, give me more clarity on this situation. I want to know what this is. Give me more clarity. Give me more clarity about this death card and the lovers. Tell me more about this death card and the lovers, please. Okay, the six of cups. Oh, wow. Okay. The five of wands. And the Knight of Wands. I'm um, the Knight of Swords. Okay. Wow. Okay. We have the Two of Cups on the bottom. Now, now I see what this is. And I feel like this is something that you may have wanted to let go of. Because there was feelings that were being harbored from the past. Some kind of conflict. Some kind of um, drama that was happening. And it was kind of making you lose your focus. On what it is that you're building. So you you were actually thinking about leaving the situation behind. And moving forward. Finding clarity on your own. Um, but I feel like with this two of cups at the bottom. With this two of cups at the bottom. Pile number three. You are going to have resolution. This person wants some kind of forgiveness. You know. They want to... Yeah, they, they want some kind of forgiveness. They, they don't want to leave your life. They don't want this to end. They see your value. They see your purpose. You know, so that's what I have for this love. And I just wanted to clarify the death card and the lovers. Because I felt like it was kind of not really meshing with this reading. So, yeah, if that resonates... Um, you, you have forgiveness on the way. Someone wants you to forgive them. They want to give you some sort of an apology. For whatever they said. Whatever they did. Okay. Okay. Pile number three. This is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And um, like I said. Take a look at your sun, moon and rising for more clarity. Those are all uploaded, whether it be in love or general reading. And pile number three. Until your next reading, many blessings to you, love and light. This has been your next 48 hours. That